Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Navin from UI Brains. Uh, so last video we understand about lifecycle hooks and let's take an example on this lifecycle hooks. Uh, so first of all, I go to my um, editor. I have uh, the previous code which is contact app. Let me take a backup of this and then we'll start with our example. So first of all, I go to my um, workspace. Let's copy everything except these two guys. Copy and uh, YouTube. Let's create a new folder. 10 hyphen react js hyphen contact app. Okay. That's fine. So you have taken a backup. Now uh, these are examples which we have discussed till now. And then. Yeah, I can remove the things. Sir. First of all, I remove this components and services. I go to app.js. I clear this import statement and uh, this contact app not required. Okay, and meanwhile, I'll start the application. Just say npm start. Okay, so first also change this react.js with uh, lifecycle methods. Okay, so it is starting. It takes some time. Okay, so let's wait for uh, this to start. And uh, now what we do is, um, okay, so first we understand what is the example we discuss. Uh, it's very simple example which is officially given by the uh, ReactJS itself uh, in a ReactJS official documentation. Uh, that is the digital watch. Okay, so. Uh, we also take the same example of digital watch is very simple example which makes you a clear idea of uh, uh, life cycle methods okay how a digital watch works in uh, react.js okay so first of all uh, let's take okay so let's take one component so I go to SRC I create new directory called components I made a mistake uh, rename to components in this I create one component one JavaScript that is called digital watch dot uh, JSX so I need a snippet paste it let's change this to digital watch okay and let's connect to app digital watch so you get it now digital watch okay so let's make some card structure and then i'll talk about a life cycle hooks now so what i do is let's take um okay one small container container some margin top three and one row single column D, uh, a six column layout one card card uh, card body um, card body you want to take some card header also with some shadow it's just a setup okay um, you can also make this uh, let's say p dot h for let's say it is dal uh, watch and let's take everything text center okay so for example I write here h3 uh, with a class called display for some number some number just to see how it is yeah fine uh but card looks let's say bigger one make it something called four okay so our setup is ready setup is ready uh, now let's make it so first of all uh, what you do is you can take a let some array is equal to use state use state in this you can create a variable and you can bind it first so let's say uh, 
state and set state you can take a variable so what is my variable is uh, uh, you can take uh, this thing current time current time with a value as new date date object of javascript dot to locale time string okay so i have just taken a variable in state uh, which is current time okay and this state value i wanted to bind in the place of here how you bind uh, using expression so state uh, <coughs> dot current time so when i say state dot current time you go and check see the current time is morning 5:47 am okay so this is the current time but only thing is this time is not getting updated right the seconds and all not getting updated it's not feel like a digital watch because um, it is like a static number okay so i want to keep updating it so how you can make this type of process is you go with a use effect hook where you can update it so it means you need to set up a timer on this variable so how you can set up a timer is uh, whenever the component has fully loaded then you can set up a timer on this variable okay uh, to increment that uh, time so what i can do is yeah now you can use the use effect uh, hook so use effect hook so in this an empty array that you know for dependencies i mean uh, for updation of your component uh, in this i'll set up a timer so how you set up a timer is uh, regular javascript function that is uh, set uh, set interval set interval where there is a function and uh, comma 1000 millisecond so because i want to set up a timer where you can update the time for every 1000 milliseconds okay it means uh, uh, it should keep update the time for every 1000 milliseconds that means one second uh, for every one second should update my state data so what my logic is just update it how you update it set state is a function where you have another one in this uh, current time will be a new time okay so what is this happening is whenever component is fully loaded use effect so because use effect can only execute once use effect hook can only execute once okay and in that i'm set i'm starting one timer so as soon as the component has fully loaded then trigger up the trigger on the timer so it's keep updating your data uh, you want to see that now check see the time is now updating without any page refresh okay so how does this happening is as soon as my component is fully rendered on the dom that's called my use effect hook uh, inside the component did mount so i have set up a timer so first of all one variable is there loaded automatically i mean it is when the component has been created it is there already variable that is use state and when it is fully loaded then i set up a timer that is using use effect hook okay now timer is running now after some time what happen uh, when i click on some other link on the nav bar so automatically what react does is it will take off uh, this component from the dom and it adds it loads a new component on the dom okay that's how uh, react works internally it, it take off the existing component and adds a new component to the same dom that's why you never see a page refresh okay so uh, what my plan is when this is taken out from dom i want to i want to uh, clear the things clear the timer so okay so when this is taken out from the dom is a sense what it is uh, a component will unmount so where is this component will unmount as per our syntax it returns another function that is unmount so what you do is return return 
another function this function is nothing but component will unmount so it means remove from dom so make sure you write this function always for clearing the things which you have made in the use effect i mean uh, in component did mount the variable which i am uh, set up for timer is current time and i want to clear it generally set interval how it clears is there is a set uh, clear interval is a function so predefined uh, let's say the state dot current time that's all okay so it says okay okay i i made a mistake one second i have whenever you set up a timer right so that returns you a unique number let's interval is equal to set interval and this interval you have to clear so that's when uh, it stops the timer okay the variable i have created it's, it's a state data don't clear it is a variable which you create extra for uh, setting up timer and this well gets clear using clear interval it's not like always you have to use a set interval or clear interval it is just only for this example uh, going forward uh, if you have any other logic of creating a variable which holds server side data uh, that variable you can just assign to null okay for uh, garbage collected okay so we'll see those type of examples also in future videos so this is our this is for a component did not mount and this is for component did mount so when loaded on DOM and take out from the DOM any updates here yeah, uh, going forward we'll see updates as well okay so that's fine now let's check you got this okay so it is a very simple example and going forward you will get a more idea about the lifecycle hook okay called use effect okay so going forward we'll use both the hooks and later on we get uh, a few more hooks as well okay so that's it i hope you understand the life cycle uh, hooks of uh, a react.js component let's meet in the next video for another concept thank you